So yeah, yeah, that's the next question. Okay. Sorry. I'll put my two years on. A July 2017 University of Texas study shows a clear causal link between the statewide defunding of Planned Parenthood in Texas and other family planning services and an increase in the rates of both unplanned pregnancies and abortions. A 2016 study by the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists reported that the rate of pregnancy-related deaths in Texas have doubled since the state defunded family planning. In light of these negative outcomes, why do you still support the defunding of Planned Parenthood? I think Planned Parenthood is an organization that stands for a lot of things. A lot of Americans, including myself, find offensive. I think Planned Parenthood uh, aggressively pushes contraceptives on very young people, and I think most parents would be upset if they found that their young people were engaged in sexual activity at such a young age. I think Planned Parenthood is the largest abortion provider in the United States, and certainly by a mile the largest abortion provider in the state of Wisconsin. I think Planned Parenthood, so far as they um, influence education in the schools, um, are push things on kids that I think are, are too young for that and okay. not too young. I, I, I went to Marquette University and I used Planned Parenthood in college not only for contraception but for exams and, and, and I didn't have health care then. And then I went on to serve the military and I went on to have a successful career and pay taxes and I think that was an investment in me and, and, and I appreciate that. And I think there's so many other women that are in the same boat. And don't you want those women to have access to reproductive care? How uh, else would you provide? If you mean the pill, I think women can have access to the pill that's without right. going to Planned Parenthood. That's not reproductive. Exam. That's exam. I have people. We have Badger Care in this state. Mm -hmm. We have Medicaid statewide <coughs> or nationwide. People are able to go to medical professionals who don't work for Planned Parenthood. I mean, I don't know in Milwaukee County here how many clinics we have, but it's got to be. So how do you many explain what happens? In, what happened in Texas when they defunded Planned Parenthood? Um, are those good results? I'm not sure that there's a, a causal thing going on. Here. I really don't. I mean, I've talked to uh, I've talked to people in Milwaukee about their programs. And I think I think some of them would tell you the less Planned Parenthood oriented they are, the more success they have. I do not believe Yeah, I, I do not believe an organization that believes it's a good thing to put very young people on contraceptives, 13, 14 year olds on contraceptives. They, they, they've never yeah. been in the public schools, by the way. They've never been in K 12 education, Planned Parenthood has never stepped foot through the doors of K 12 they, education. I was in Washington, or Madison, and they weigh in strongly on the type of, poll, on the type of uh, uh, health education teaching no. that. Absolutely. That's, in, that's inaccurate. I worked in education for all of my life. They, they allowed me Planned Parenthood well, does not I, step in. I, I, don't like to in take, I don't like to take people out of county. But I'll say this. I was a state legislature for many years. We passed laws about human growth and development. And I don't think anybody had stronger opinions of waiting more than Planned Parenthood. Now, they might not weigh in directly in your school, but it doesn't mean they and their suggested programs, uh, they don't weigh in the state legislators. And I assume there's surrogates way of old school. So do you think well, abstinence is the alternative? Well, I think a whole lot of parents, probably correctly so, expect their parents <coughs> to abstain from sex. And the success, actually. Well, well, well Joe Allen Schultz, so I have a talk. I, I, I defer to you, Pet, a few more questions. I'll turn my time over. <laughs> I, I just, you know, I know so many women that Planned Parenthood has made a difference in diagnosing um, diseases early on. Yes. I've worked in women's health for over 30 years in mental health capacity, not in physical health capacity. So I saw women directly affected by not being funded for services. And it's painful for me to know that her statistics are accurate, but I don't hear what you're proposing as an alternative. What is we, the alternative? We have health care programs for the poor galore. 
and these proposals and these programs do not require you to find out how to Medicaid, Medicaid, Medicaid. You have, you have. Uh, you know, there's not. There are very few psychiatrists who serve people. With Medicare? Well, I think and we're talking Medicaid. about reproductive health. Well, and mental health, that, but... which is affected by reproductive health issues. I mean, it's all when it's health. And I still work with that population, and I experience it all the time, where Planned Parenthood is really the only, the only option. option. And it continues to save people's do. lives. Right. And saving we, people's we lives is what we need to do. Care. Won't they approve once we get rid of Obamacare? <laughs> which part? Well, well it improved yeah. under Obamacare. Yeah. <laughs> there are. It will, it will decline. It is a tiny fraction of what they do, and there are clinics all over the place. Not to mention there are also some free clinics. Not to mention Planned Parenthood's not going to disappear because perhaps people like to give them money to vote. So, um, what does that mean? What does that mean? Planned Parenthood is fundraisers, I know. They have fundraisers because sometimes I don't know why you are here. Are you communists? No, no, I think people are in favor of playing beer. I said people are in favor. I give I give money to charity in my own right. I assume you give money to charity. Because Planned Parenthood, I think he has You're our congressman. Right. And so what you're saying really clearly is you do not want women's health care to be taken care of by Planned Parenthood. I don't want taxpayer dollars going to it. Not at all. I, I think it, I think their worldview is opposed by many people, including myself. Do you have any if, if individual people want to give money to them, they're going to give money to them. Paul Gordon? 